Good Saturday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with Weather Overtime, your exclusive online video weather blog. We try to bring to you every Saturday and Sunday evening to give you an update as to what's going on with the weather in the Mid-South area. You can catch us on all these social media channels. And, of course, don't forget that you can also catch me via email if you have any questions or concerns out there. Right now, the NCAA tournament, we've got the second finals out there going on at this point in time. And, again, if you're tuning in for that, that's great. Hopefully, again, no interruptions from that. But if it does become necessary, we will be breaking in a little bit later on as it becomes necessary. But right now, we have not had any issues to do so, so good news on that. Got any weather reports from around your area? Great. Drop them into the comments section. If you can't stick around for the whole thing, again, the forecast in the blue bar scrolling along beneath me here and you can also get the full forecast information update at this website wreg.com slash weather we're going to kind of hop around a little bit we're going to kind of fruit basket upset our way through tonight's uh, episode because again we've got a lot going on and if anything does turn severe we're going to have to hop off screen a little quickly so we can get things going on air to let the rest of the viewing area know a little bit more about what is happening. Welcome to everybody uh, who's tuning in for tonight. And again, we'll give you updates as we go throughout the rest of the evening on what's going on for severe weather purposes. But so far, things are quiet. Here's hoping again they stay that way. Overnight, more chances of showers and thunderstorms possible throughout the area. Doesn't look like, again, any dry conditions anytime soon. As we see, again, temperatures very mild into overnight. We might make our way into the lower 60s, maybe a few upper 50s into tomorrow morning, but that's going to be about as much as we can get again for right now across the Mid-South area, and that's going to be pretty much it for uh, the time being. Karen Keller Johnson Bateman, please don't go live during the game. Uh, if we have to, we have to. That's what we do here at News Channel 3 unapologetically to get the information out to everybody. We'll keep it as short as possible, but our job is to make certain everybody stays safe out there. So again, that's part of what we do here. And again, if uh, you have a complaint about that, you can send that up to our managers during uh, regular business hours, which you can find that, again, at that website, wreg.com. Currently in the Mid-South area, taking a look at the Metro on Storm Tracker 3S radar. Rain from Brunswick back toward downtown. A little bit heavier back toward sunset in portions of Arkansas, just outside of Shelby County. We're getting, again, some thunderstorms developing just to the southwest of Osceola along I-55, right at the 55-555 split, all that moving its way back toward the northeast. Let's get a wider view here on Storm Tracker 3S radar and give you an idea as to what's happening. If you're around Forest City, we're seeing again the potential of a new cluster of thunderstorms developing here, heading up into northeastern Arkansas. Very loud around Mariana between there and I-40 around Forest City and a little bit more lightning between Forest City and to around the Brinkley area for right now. This is where we're again seeing uh, the possibility of the heaviest weather for the time being. Excuse me. And if this continues, we may see some of this scrape very close to around Shelby County and the Memphis metro area. Taking a bit of a tour back toward the east, northern Mississippi, we don't have a lot going on here. Oxford, Bruce, Water Valley, New Albany, not that much going on. A little bit of rain showers around Tupelo, northeastern parts of Mississippi. Likewise, most of West Tennessee is not seeing anything from Memphis to Jackson to Dyersburg, back down to Savannah. It's very quiet for now, but more chances of showers and thunderstorms will be expected as we go into overnight. And some of those could turn severe, so we'll be watching that. Clarksdale, if you're tuning in from around that location, uh, south of Helena, West Helena, some rumbles of thunder happening but not much of anything outside of just the rainfall. Could be the potential of some marble-sized hail with this. If you see anything going on in the way of severe weather, report those to the National Weather Service first. You can go to their webpage. You can call them. Uh, go to weather.gov and click on the Mid-South area, and then click on Submit a Storm Report, and you can get more information to them. That information that you provide helps people like me tell everybody else what's going on around the area. So, again, if you see something, that's great. But the one main thing to remember is just because we have this really super duper cool technology like Storm Tracker 3S radar does not mean we can tell everything that's happening at ground level. 
That's where you come in. That's, again, where you keep your eyes on what's going on, call that information into the National Weather Service, and that can help me let everybody else know. So your information could save a life. Consider being a Skywarn spotter as well. We could really use the help out there and to make certain everybody stays safer. Now down to the south of us, notice again a lot of warning boxes going on. We do have a tornado watch near the area. Northern Louisiana and northeast Texas does have a tornado watch in effect at this point. But again, it is very far to the south and west of us at this time. And this particular tornado watch uh, continues in effect until 10 o'clock. But as you can see, it's a uh, decent far uh, piece away from portions of the Mid-South area, so not a lot going on there. We have had a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings from these clusters of cells into and around western Alabama, but beyond that, there's just really not that much going on uh, at this time. Darlene Hill Handley, about uh, when do I think it will hit Memphis? Uh, this particular cluster down to southeastern Arkansas right in here if this continues on its way this will be in memphis well let's stop this for just a second here and assuming this continues moving at a decent clip of about say 35 miles per hour uh, this is going to be making its way into around the tunica area in about a half an hour edmondson about 847 and give or take by a few seconds about nine o'clock around west memphis arkansas so assuming uh, within the hour, we could be looking at the possibility of some of this scraping close to Shelby County and Memphis. So that'll be about the main thing we'll be looking at uh, for the time being at this point. So again, that's just uh, one storm track right now. If you're watching this again much later during the evening, please tune into News Channel 3 directly or to, again, our social media pages to make certain that you know what's going on up to date. This is a generic updated forecast that we record and netcast at about 8 o'clock on Saturday evening, but you need to be aware of what's happening now. So again, please watch what's happening live on TV if there's anything weather heading our way, and we'll keep you advised about that as we go throughout uh, the rest of the evening into overnight if necessary. Very much on the mild side out there, temperatures continue to be back into around the Lower to mid 70s, we did hit 80 degrees today, brief period of time here at the News Channel 3 studios. So we should be seeing again the possibility of some fairly mild conditions over the next few days. I think we've kind of turned the corner from wintertime temperatures. Could be a little cool in the 10 day forecast. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Uh, let's see, do we think, who's Darlene Hill Handley? Do you think we will get any hail? We have had some estimates on Storm Tracker 3S radar of about a uh, half inch hail marble size give or take so it's possible we could see uh, a little bit more for all that out there and thanks to everybody else for uh, checking in across the entire area uh, for tonight as we keep you updated as to what's going on out there uh, amy hayes about uh, st louis a little far north from our patch here we'll see if we can circle around and take a look at that coming up here uh, in just a little bit rest of the area for tonight running the numbers through the evening hours east arkansas here West Tennessee here, North Mississippi here, and Memphis right smack in the middle of your screen that we see again the potential of rainfall coming on through. The green indicates again light to moderate rainfall. Yellows through red and orange doesn't mean severe. Red doesn't mean severe on a radar display. It just means where the return of rainfall is heaviest going on depending on which display you're looking at. So for right now, the heaviest rainfall moving through by about News Channel 3 at 10 and right into about midnight or so as this continues onwards into early tomorrow morning. We'll see again the possibility of lessening amounts of showers and thunderstorms moving out of the picture from northeast Mississippi into northwestern parts of Alabama. Then by daybreak tomorrow, another chance of showers and thunderstorms continues into the area and starts to refire as we get into around about mid-morning or so. So planning on heading off for church or Sunday school, you're definitely going to want to be weather aware and keep an eye as to what's going on. There is a possibility of severe weather again tomorrow. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Welcome to everybody uh, who's tuning in for this evening. So again, uh, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 uh, for the latest. David Lewis, anything on wind gusts? Uh, we've not heard anything uh, out this time, uh, at this time, out across the Mid South area, in the way of any damaging winds. But if that does happen, we'll let uh, that we'll let you know about that too. Jack Lowe, severe weather outbreak of 1999. I remember that. That was a uh, quite the time right there, interrupting the uh, AFC Championship game and 
getting all kinds of uh, interesting comments on that way back when. So thank you very much uh, for remembering that one on there for right now. Now taking a look at the extended forecast, rain and thunderstorms right on in through the rest of the weekend. So outdoor plans, probably not the best idea. Going to shove the forecast ahead by just a little bit into early Monday morning. We start to see more chances of showers and thunderstorms. To keep in mind, this is a more generic forecast because it's farther away from us in the forecast than just close up. If we get very close in the forecast we can get more detailed and we can get a little bit more critical about what's going on. The farther away we go the more distant the forecast become and a lot more things can happen. So this again is showing heavier amounts of rainfall by early Monday morning and that sticks around right into rush hour. So we could see a pretty sloppy commute coming up on Monday morning. Corey Ventura will have time saver traffic for you to keep you updated on that. But the good news is it looks like through the day on Monday, the rain and thunderstorms will be on their way out, and we should be getting some drier conditions in here as we go throughout the course of the next, uh, the next couple of days or so. David Jones, not sure why the volume is low. Uh, not too sure myself. The microphone is showing full power here. Uh, I'm not too sure where the volume control is at this point in time outside of shouting with a megaphone, but maybe you just turn your volume up for just a little bit on there. Rest of the forecast for tonight, we're looking again at the slight risk category for severe weather. This is again going to be the target zone for the possibility of severe weather throughout the rest of the evening. Now we did have an enhanced risk category earlier tonight. We do not have that at this time. That has been removed, so that means that the threat for severe levels is going down by a little bit, but we could be seeing again the potential for more severe weather out there. Less of a threat in the marginal area here for West Tennessee, Northeast Arkansas, back to around the Boot Heel of Missouri and Northwest Tennessee. Northeast Arkansas also not seeing a lot right now, just some generic thunderstorms possible, but the main target zone will be from roughly Shelby County, Northern Mississippi, and back into around northeastern Arkansas, and that'll go for about the next couple of hours or so. Now tomorrow, the forecast hasn't updated for a while. This is kind of an old forecast, so for right now, the swath that they're painting here is going to be very large. From the Gulf of Mexico, this potential for severe weather is pretty amazingly huge. From Cincinnati to St. Louis, all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico, this storm system that's coming on through is not giving uh, any thought to rushing on out of here. It's fairly potent and it's taking its time. So we could see again the possibility that we should see again some more areas of thunderstorms out there throughout the course of the rest of not only Sunday, but then also into Monday. We're going to be looking for that potential out there as well as we go throughout the rest of, again, the afternoon and evening tomorrow. So that, again, could be a little bit of an issue as we get into early Monday morning. Now, the good news is from here, the threat leaves and goes away. Looks like that should do it right here with the possibility of severe weather. And if I'm reading this correctly, hopefully that microphone, the internal condensed microphone, will uh, get things a little bit louder out there, but just a little bit. Thank you very much. And Bobby Midget from uh, Talk Back Live from AM 730-1600. Thanks for tuning in uh, for later on tonight for right now. Chances of showers and thunderstorms continue overnight. And again, through the rest of the day tomorrow, should be looking again at a good reason to take the umbrella with you and to keep it tuned to News Channel 3 as we see more of those possibilities of showers and thunderstorms out across much of the Mid-South area for right now. Temperatures remain pretty mild on Monday back in the mid-70s. Lower 70s on Tuesday as the showers and thunderstorms finally begin to clear back out of here. Clearing and dry conditions as we go toward Tuesday evening. Wednesday looks pretty good. Temperatures should be pushing 80 degrees as we get toward midweek. Now toward the end of the week, some showers, some thunderstorms, not a great deal. The main thing for this next weekend is going to be we'll dry out by just a little bit. We'll see a few speckles of rain Friday and Saturday, but the temperatures will be much cooler than what we have seen over the course of the midweek period. So not exactly an Arctic blast, but it will be a bit brisk out there. 60s for highs, close to the 40s again for low temperatures next Saturday morning, and it's probably going to be a while before we see anything in the way of that type of cool weather again 
if the extended forecast is to be believed. We're looking at some much milder conditions coming up here in the next several days. The 30 day forecast does hold some warmer numbers for the Mid South from the Climate Prediction Center. Stay tuned for more on that. Again, on my social media pages, we'll keep you updated on that. Definitely want to sign up for Tim and Jim on Weather Call. If you'd like to be informed about severe weather from your location, Go to our website, wreg.com, on the weather page. Click the weather call icon on the menu, and you can find out more about what is going to be heading your way as Tim and Jim will call you with severe weather information to let you know what's coming your direction. And again, you can find out more about that at wreg.com slash weather. All right, going to hop back real quick to the radar just to make certain we have an update here. Time is just about 8.20 on Saturday night, and again, a... Wave of showers and thunderstorms just to the west of Covington, right around the Mississippi River, northeast Arkansas at this time. And again, not seeing a lot in the way of heavy weather, but some fairly uh, moderate to heavy amounts of rainfall into parts of southeast Arkansas and around portions of the area close to Tunica in Mississippi. Had uh, one viewer a little while ago that was asking about St. Louis. Not that much going on. Uh, well to the north of the viewing area, but all those showers and thunderstorms will be making their way out of the picture here and up that direction. So far, uh, we've had no indication the National Weather Service has been issuing or is going to issue any severe weather warnings here. We still have a tornado watch down to the south and west of us into Louisiana and parts of East Texas, but beyond that, there's just not much happening immediately for right now. And again, here in the Mid-South, the main thing is going to be the wet roadways, could be some gusty, possibly damaging winds with these storms. Hail, we've seen estimates of about half an inch or so, but beyond that, we're not really seeing too much of anything else uh, in the way of major amounts of problems for right now. Uh, thanks to everybody for checking in uh, on this uh, Saturday night. And again, if you've got weather reports, drop into the comment section. We'd love to see more about where you're checking in from and what the weather's doing out there. And thanks to everybody for taking a look around the area. Now for the metro, again, not much happening immediately, but we will be seeing these rumbles of thunder taking place all the way throughout the night tonight. Matter of fact, if I can get this uh, loaded properly, looking across the river toward West Memphis, Arkansas, some low, fast-moving clouds out there. And we may get an occasional flash of lightning off into the distance as we look across the Mississippi River tonight. More clouds, more rain on the way, and some speckles of rainfall taking place on the camera lens here. For the metro area itself, again, most of the activity has passed us by back to the west and northwest Memphis metro area and the 240 loop right down here. Most of what we're seeing heading back to the north and to the east well to the northwest of the mid-south or of the metro area for right now the rest of the mid-south northeast mississippi you're not seeing a lot right now likewise west tennessee but eastern arkansas the boot heel back down into around northwest mississippi that's where we're getting it looks like the worst of the worst activity for the time being taking a look right at that area from i-40 down to about tunica west helena into around friars point that's where we're getting the heaviest amounts of lightning but no indication from the National Weather Service in Memphis that we're seeing any severe weather. So good news on that. Perhaps the threat has diminished slightly. Uh, when the next forecast uh, update comes up from the Storm Prediction Center that shows this information, we may see a further downturn, but we'll wait for them to make that decision. They're the experts on this, and we'll yield to their forecast authority on severe weather purposes on that. Either way, right now, would be a good idea to make sure that you stay safe. Get ready to get to a safe place. Again, have multiple ways of making certain you can get information from severe weather from this little device that you carry around with you all the time. And again, definitely want to keep an app, if at all possible, on your tablet or anything else ready to go that will receive push alerts from the National Weather Service. Don't rely on just tornado sirens. You're indoors. It's next to impossible to hear those things. So again, safety first, safety always. Please make certain that you're able to get warnings of a varying nature as soon as you possibly can, no matter where you are in the Mid-South or beyond. Let's stay safe out there again as we go into tonight. As soon as the tournament is over with, we'll have an update on the forecast. That'll be coming up on the late edition of News Channel 3 at 10. So we'll have 
More information coming up there. Todd Demers will be up bright and early on Daybreak Sunday for an update on your forecast into the rest of the day. And, of course, the entire News Channel 3 weather experts team will be monitoring the situation. And, of course, if necessary, depending on how... Uh, how rough the situation is, how important it is, again, with tornado warnings out there. We definitely want to make certain we put safety first, so we will be on the air to let you know about stuff like that. And otherwise, if anything else does happen, check the bottom of the screen like you see with the forecast here, and we'll keep you updated as we go throughout the rest of the weekend right on into Monday morning. So, again, a lot can happen, so keep it tuned for more uh, with News Channel 3, and we'll keep you advised on that. Thank you very much for dropping in for tonight and for all the information everybody providing. And keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the absolute latest coming up. And, of course, any questions or concerns, email me at austin.onic. Again, that's at my email address, austin.onic at wreg.com slash weather. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, thank you very much for joining us for tonight. More details on your forecast coming up later tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. And, again, Todd Demers has your forecast bright and early 6 a.m. Sunday on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Thanks for joining us.